I was 24 years old when I entered porn. I was a burned out prostitute and stripper. I was a single mom, addicted to drugs and alcohol. I was the kind of person that the porn industry preys upon. The porn industry preys upon people who are already damaged, so they can damage them more. And I was that girl. They promised me fame, fortune, attention. They promised me I would be the next biggest, hottest porn star. And they promised me that I would be kept safe. That porn people are the cleanest people in the world. And that if we get our tests every 30 days for HIV, then I'll be kept safe. Are you sure? Of course, baby. Of course we're sure. You'll be safe. Well, after about 30 movies, I got burned and I caught two sexually transmitted diseases. One of those diseases was HPV, human papillomavirus, which I had never heard of. And another was a non curable disease, herpes. Catching herpes back in the 90s was like catching HIV. I mean, your life is over. You are going to be forever stuck with this disease. And it devastated me. And I tried to kill myself with prescription pills. I didn't care anymore. I had herpes on my mouth, my lips, my throat, my vagina, my anus, everywhere. I was a monster. How far I had come. I joined the porn industry. And I was promised glamour and fame and fortune. And here I am standing in the worst human ugliness you could possibly see in the mirror. And I was devastated. And I thought my life was over. Like many of the porn stars who catch non-curable diseases. STDs are rampant in the porn industry. And what, what's horrible is these people don't understand that even repeat infections are breaking down their immune system. Over, you know, after they have so many STDs, sooner or later they're going to live with the long-term health effects like I am. I'm 43 years old now, and I still have problems with my period, with my cervix. I had to have half of my cervix removed because of all of the herpes lesions. And I couldn't have babies after that. Praise God, by the grace of God, that I have children, I'm blessed. But I did lose four children because of the damage to my sexual organs. The porn industry does nothing more than damage lives. It damages the lives of the workers. It damages the lives of the general public. It damages the lives of the men who are viewing pornography, who are addicted to porn. These same people who are addicted to porn, they're making demands on the girls. Porn addicts go, well, you know, I only watch a little straight porn. And then a couple of years into it, the disease progresses. Porn is a disease, not just for the workers, but for the porn addicts. And they make demands on these girls. And thus the porn industry goes, listen, this is what the porn viewers want. They want to see you get banged by 12 black guys. They want to see you do DP. They want to see you do bukkakis. They want to see you be degraded, call names like slut for a cunt. They want to see that. That's what makes the money. And these girls are like, you know, what other option do they have? Who cares about these, these women in porn? Nobody. But we do. Pink Cross is the first organization that's ever been created to specifically help these women in porn who are in very severe sex trafficking situations. These girls need our help. These girls need our love. I hope that you will seriously consider giving to Pink Cross and help us reach these women. Thanks for caring.